Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would show you what I eat in a day to lose weight and hopefully give you guys some ideas what to introduce into your diet. Um, so for breakfast, I thought I'll have eggs and a bagel. Um, it's a good way to have protein for the start of the day. So I do two eggs, but I'm cooking for two, so I'm gonna be putting four in. But um, I think two is all you need, especially you're gonna find your protein throughout the day from your lunch, snacks, and dinner. So I think two's enough. So the bagels that I use are the Warburton thin ones. So I still think they give you enough energy for the day without being too starchy and carby for the morning. Um, so I'm just gonna lightly toast them, butter them, and then put the eggs on them. Um, so I've made my bagel, I'm ready to eat it, and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Guys, so for lunch I'm going to have a pasta salad, so I'm going to have some um, halloumi cheese on there and some greens. So it's a really kind of light meal with some carbs in there as well. Um, so for the salad I'm going to have pak choy, green beans and mushrooms, so keeping it kind of simple so it's not too heavy. So I've done the salad part of the dish, so I'm going to now cut up the halloumi cheese. It's up to preference how you want to cut it, because I know usually you cut it in slices, but I kind of like it in squares, because it's a bit more easier to handle on your plate. I'm just going to put a sprinkle of oil in there. I'm not going to use a spray on um, oil, because I think with these vegetables, it's kind of nice to coat them a little bit to get it cooking right. Uh, so for the salad to give it a bit more flavour, I'll add a little bit of honey and a little bit of soy sauce because it gives it some colour and makes it just that bit more tasty. So after you add all the sauces in, you give it like five more minutes and then you put the garlic in as like a last splash of flavour for your vegetables. A bit longer. So I've made my lunch now, it was really quick and easy, so I'll see you guys at dinner time. Now dinner time, I'm going to be cooking chicken stuffed with mozzarella, spinach, tomato with red pesto, and some potatoes, and carrots, and green beans. So I'll show you how I make it. So I'm doing a double portion, so if you did want to cook this yourself, you can just half the amount of ingredients that I'm using. I'm just going to butterfly the chicken so I can put in the mozzarella, the tomato and the spinach so I can put that in. I've done the stuffing off the chicken and now it's just putting the red pesto on so I tend to do one to two tablespoons but it's up to your preference how much you put on. So now that I've done the chicken I'm going to put it in for about 25 minutes on 200 degrees and I'll just check it every like 10 minutes to see how it's cooking. So whilst that's cooking, I've already boiled the water ready for my potatoes to put in because they take around roughly the same amount of time. So like after 10 minutes, that's usually when I put in my carrots, gives them enough time to boil. And then five minutes before it's ending, I'll add in the green beans because I don't need very long. So just finished cooking dinner, which was my stuffed chicken with red pesto, stuffed with mozzarella, tomato and spinach. Um, thank you for watching my video, I hope that gave you some ideas of what to cook for yourself and I hope to see you next time.